the fact that you guys support us is a huge, huge thing for us. It's super important. And um, and for us, the fact that it that when we get a chance to just talk to you about what's going on, um, it's actually a really big deal for us because it's the best way for us to be able to explain to everybody else what's happening, you know? So I really do appreciate it. It's I know it's a lot of work, too, and um, I couldn't do what you do. <laughs> no way. So thank you guys for doing it. Okay, let's start. Well, I might start. Uh, <laughs> I've made a Discord room for the people so they can ask some questions okay. about the game development. There's quite a few of them. Okay. One of the probably most anticipated uh, gun marks, you know, marks of excellence. Ah. We might maybe look forward to something. That's still so. Um, that one is still a debate back and forth inside of the studio, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, so we don't have a specific time frame or a specific decision on it yet, but it's, yeah, I believe me, there, um, there, there are not only people outside the studio who want to talk about that, there are people inside the yeah. studio who want to talk about it too. Maybe another one. Uh -huh. What about game physics? Yeah. So, so then, 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 yeah, we're going to be something like that? Uh, so you mean like, uh, like physics where it's more interacting with the environment and things like that? Or? I know this and the tank can turn around and fall the cliff or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, look, we're always doing changes to that. I, it's Honestly, there's a bunch of tweaks at any given moment that go on with the, a lot of the small movements and stuff like that. So it's kind of constant iteration. Um, there's some bigger stuff that we're working on that's probably going to be further down the line, but it's it'll be part of... It won't just be about physics. Okay. There's some things we're doing that'll be a lot bigger than that, but it's it's later on down the road. What about double barrel tanks? <laughs> <laughs> um, what can we say about double barrel tanks? Maybe As if yet. or when? If or when? Yeah, I I think it's I think it's still if. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah. Really have a yeah, I don't think yeah, I mean, look, there's. But you know, that's also part of what makes it special, right? Like that's its thing. And uh, look, if, you know, usually if we do something like that, you want it to be like a, a part of a big overall balance thing, right? A big gameplay event. You know, you guys remember, we've introduced a bunch of stuff where we've done like a new mechanic and you don't, you don't do it with just like, okay, we'll just lop one out there, right? You want it to be a really big deal. So um, it's it's not like it's not the kind of thing where we would just go okay we'll try it because like you said we've got the housing but it's it would also be taking away that you know it's thunder right I know the other one everybody wants is not just double barreled but like two direction aiming right hitting two targets at once and that like look I'd also like a tank that flies and is invulnerable right and it can shoot in 360 and with no reloads. <laughs> Maybe not the perfect game balance, right? But, yeah. <laughs> there were quite a few maps that have been removed a lot of years ago. For example, Stanwall. Are you going to introduce them again? It's, so for us, usually it's less about... If we take a map out, it's because something about it wasn't working, right? It wasn't balanced right. One side, if, you know, if you spawned in one side versus the other, your team had a huge advantage. Or, you know, as the gameplay changes over the years, it just got less interesting. So usually if we pull one out, we wouldn't just put it back in. We might rework it, make a bunch of changes yeah. to it. Uh, but what tends to happen now mostly is actually that the map designers, they, um, they get inspired by stuff that they had in earlier maps. And then they go, wait, we could, if we just did this, right? So they'll take a part of an old map, something they liked about an old map, and build it into a totally new one. And I think we're pretty good about the pace of getting new maps out. Um, and I like the fact that every one of the new maps, right, every time I play one of the new maps, I feel like it's better, right? Like it's really bringing something different, so. A lot of people been asking uh, for, for some modes that are in regular for 
Legends of the Steel Hunter, are you going to introduce something like that? Or some, well, let's put it this way, most of the Blitz modes are just great licensing or those funny modes. Yeah. But it's funny modes, mm -hmm. not like competitive much. Right. Is there right. going to be something like more competitive or more realistic, let's say? So, you know, we had the realistic battles, right? And a bunch of people played that and it was super popular. And, you know, we bring it back on a regular basis, right? We, you know, we'll, we'll bring it out, people play it, and then we'll retire it again for a little while, bring it back. Um, and that's, I, that tends to be the way we do it because you don't want the, um, the matchmaking to get tortured by a million different pools, right? Because, you know, the, the harder it is to match make, the worse the match ends up feeling, right? The more unbalanced it is. Uh, so what we'll do is, you know, we, we take the matches and the modes that we liked, we'll bring them out for a little while, play, 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 and then put it back in the box, right? And then come back with another one. Uh, I think more and more, you know, what we've seen is that what people tend to like the most in Blitz actually is the more crazy stuff, right? The You know, the further we push it, the more the physics get weird and out there, right? Gravity mode or any of the, you know, the Halloween stuff. And that, like, that's the stuff that, that people tend to respond to the best. And so that's what you'll probably see the most stuff from us continuing. But, but you know, realistic and things like that continue to be, and obviously, you know, tournament play is a big deal for us. And, you know, super, super competitive play, right? There's always going to be a place for that. So we'll still have those, but generally it's going to be more, you know, we're, like if World of Tanks PC is like watching a Marvel Avengers movie, right? It's intense and it's powerful and it's, right? And Blitz is more like watching Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah, yeah, right? Gotcha. Good example. Yeah. But I think uh, maybe we'll, let's give to others some sure, others. Sure. All right. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any questions, guys? Yeah. I'm going to ask the cheesy job interview question. Where do you see the game in five years? Ah! <laughs> That's a good question. So, uh, first of all, alive and well. Uh, that's, I think, and that's the biggest thing. Like, there's a bunch of stuff that we're doing right now, actually, that, you know, look, we're coming up, it's gonna be 10 years, right? And we've got a bunch of big things that we've been working on that we can't, that we haven't talked about yet because I learned a long time ago, like, you don't wanna come out and tell people a whole bunch of things about what you're doing until you know that it's, not just that it's gonna get done, but that there's a release date and I can make promises, right? Because you don't want to get people all excited and then we don't have to reference specific other video game companies that have done this, but I think we can all think of examples. Uh, so, but there is, but I can tell you there's a bunch of stuff that we've been doing that's like some pretty gnarly technical changes and updates that are still a ways off, but that are designed to make sure that we're around, not just for the next year, a couple of years, but that we're really future-proofed. Um, it's, there's a, a lot of efforts going on for that right now, and it's part of the reason, actually, that you'll see, you know, there's a lot of content that we're doing, and a lot of, you know, events and things like that, but some of the technical work, a lot of our engineers are focused on the future, right, on things down the road rather than kind of the usual month-by-month -month stuff. Uh, well, you know, World of Tanks PC has like the Grand Battles mode. Is there any idea or whether something like that is going to be happening in Blitz where you have more than seven players? So part of the... It's, it's, I'm laughing, right? Because, you know, part of what... Part of the reason that we did 7-on-7 seven seven yeah. instead of 15s, right, is when you're playing mobile, Man, 15 on 15, I mean, you know how long a 15 on 15 match takes, right? Like, it's a while. And, you know, mobile games, like, there's one of the my favorite rules that I learned, right, was, like, the perfect length of a battle for a mobile game is exactly how long you can be in the toilet before anybody notices you're gone. <laughs> right? Before somebody goes, like, hey, where's, what happened to Bob? Like, he's supposed to be back at his desk by now, right? So, you know, we try to keep it, we try to keep the battle length and the sessions lighter, faster, quicker, right? So that if you're on the train, if you're on a bus, if you're taking a break, you know, 
it's quick enough that you can get in and out and done.